I'm putting together a drawer for a project and wanted to do some dovetails because I need the practice. Here I'm setting the depth of my material with a marking gauge and scribing a line so that I don't cut too deep for the tails. The marking gauge has a circular blade on the end that cuts into the wood, allowing me to transfer the correct depth of my material. When I lay out for the dovetails, I selected a 1 to 6 dovetail marking gauge, meaning for every inch the gauge tapers 6 degrees. I also scribed the lines with a marking knife instead of a pencil. There are other angles you can use, but a 1 to 6 is the preferred angle for soft wood like pine. For this project, I've chosen two dovetails, no reason, just a number I like plus less cuts. I purchased a Japanese Ryoba saw to try out. It has teeth for rip cuts on one side and teeth for cross cuts on the other. So essentially it's two saws in one. Japanese saws cut on the pull stroke instead of the push stroke like traditional western saws. As you can see it's easier to begin the cut, much easier to control, and I find it less stressful in your hands if the blade gets dull, I can purchase a replacement blade. On the western dovetail saw, for me it was a little difficult to get the saw started. Also it was tougher to correct the cut if you veered off your reference line. I found after using the saw all day there was some soreness in my arm because of the pressure you would use pushing the saw through the wood. Going forward I think I will grab the Japanese saw first when cutting dovetails again. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and thank you for subscribing and watching Every Other Day Woodworking.